So I have a simple to-do app that uses Auth0 and I've hooked that up to a Hasura GraphQL backend. Let's just quickly test it out. I'm going to log in with Google using Auth0 lock and use my email ID. And now let me create a to-do here. So I'll say user1 to-do1, user2 or user1 to-do2. And I have these two to-dos. If I go to the Hasura console, I can see that these to-dos have come in for the right user ID as well. If I log out and log in as another user, let's say my Gmail ID, I see that I have user one's to-dos as well, right? Because the GraphQL query that is fetching the to-dos is not using the right permissions. To fix this, I'm going to add permissions to the to-do table. I'm going to create a user role. And for this user, the user is only allowed to insert if the user ID is actually equal to the user ID that comes in as a part of the request. I'm going to set the same permissions for select. And I'm going to allow the user to select all the columns. The same for update and the same for delete. Now once I have these permissions set up, let me just quickly test out my query. So I can do query to do ID, user ID, and let's say task, right? And if I fetch this query as an admin, I can see all the to-dos here. But if I add the right headers, and set the user ID to the user ID value, the query returns that which is expected. Let's change that to something else. And now you can see that because there are no to-dos that belong to this user or this user ID does not exist, there are no to-dos that belong to this particular user. Now that the permissions have been set up for our GraphQL endpoint, we need to make sure that these header values actually come in along with the app itself. To do that, I need to set up a webhook. And so I've set up a webhook on Glitch which takes the authorization token that comes in from the app's request, checks with Auth0, and then depending on what Auth0 says about this particular user, returns the right user ID and role values that the GraphQL engine can now use inside its permission system. Let's configure the Hasura GraphQL engine to use this webhook. So I'm going to open up the Heroku app where the GraphQL engine is running and set up the Hasura GraphQL authhook environment variable. Whenever I set an auth webhook, Hasura also needs an access key to be set up. So let me set up an access key as well. Let's just check the logs to see if our server is running. Now let me try to log in as user2. You'll see that the old to-dos which belong to user one are not coming up anymore. Let's just quickly try this out. Let me insert another to-do here. And let's go back and check with user one. And this is the first user. And you'll see that the right to-dos are here, right? And you can see that the to-dos are getting created with the right user IDs. And that's how Hasura's access control system integrates with your authentication system.